Hello everybody, my name is Tokreva and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3, playing the Empire of Japan, trying to form an Asian prosperity sphere in the Western Pacific, which kind of also includes Hawaii. Well, at least there are some things. Now, before we actually get into the game, I want to check the historical plans that um, Japan has and that we might follow to some extent. So if I do this, this is the invasion of Japan in China. Well, invasion of China by Japan is what I should say. And the lines are basically how fast they did. So they went in on December, no, August. North China area army, August 1937. So August 1937 is when our deadline for the attack is. I'll look up the exact date and everything, and this is what they gained by December. We might get fa there faster. I don't actually know. This is where they got by December 1939, which is quite a long time. Also, this got taken by December 1937. And then this was... The green lines are 38. May of 38, these invasions happened... June 39 over here is when uh, Guangxi, no, the Guangxi click indeed, Yunnan is over there, was attacked, and the Indochina Expeditionary Army in September of 1940. Basically, once um, Vichy France get formed in this game, is when we get Indochina for free, sort of. It probably didn't actually happen in real life, but that's how the game mechanics work at least. So we get that from Germany without ever having to go to war with France. And there are, you see airplanes over here. There's actually an airplane here while well, there's not actually an airfield in Pyongyang. Which is interesting. But yeah, there are a lot of uh, fleets moving in here to do some shore bombardment and everything. So yeah, that's the original plan. Current plan, I will delete it. Yes, I do. Uh, we'll also check... The Pacific operations, uh, basically what happened in December of uh, 1941. Well, oh, this one is obvious. This is when Pearl Harbor got uh, taken. Oh, wow, you can't actually see if you move to the wrong side of the map, I guess. So if you move left first, yeah, you don't see it. That's a slight issue. It's It has to do with the map border. So here you see the carrier strike force behind... Well, I can actually minimize this and close this for now. Here you see the carrier strike force and... Yeah, then we already can't see it anymore. Jesus, that's... It's really on the edge of the map. Basically, the center is somewhere around here. Or, well, the cutoff. Yeah, here's the cutoff. You can see it on the mini-map where it is. And on the left of it is where it works. On the right of it, it doesn't. So... Advance group are, I think, the submarines that went in. They tried to destroy as many ships. Uh, the other task forces that you see here are where the aircraft carriers were. I think one of them was the Enterprise. I think. And that saved a lot of um, America, basically. Because those two aircraft carriers weren't in port inside of Pearl Harbor at the time. It allowed the Americans to rebuild their navy at ludicrous speed, but focus it around uh, the aircraft carriers, having seen how effective the Japanese were with it and how uh, strong air power was becoming. It really put the American navy ahead of the Japanese one. Here's the Wake Island Invasion Group, Guam Invasion Group, uh, Philippines Invasion. Of course, the Philippines are... At this point, sort of a puppet state of the USA, I think. I'd actually say, yeah, it's a puppet of the USA. At least in game mechanics-wise, it was sort of a free colony at the time. It was taken from the Spanish in the Spanish-American War in 1898-ish is when that was. They took Cuba and freed it, but they took the Philippines as well. And yeah, so that was attacked. Also, Siam was attacked. They also attacked uh, Borneo, so declaring war on England. Now, there was a second one as well. Um, this was Operations Part 2. Here you see the follow-up is uh, towards... Uh, yeah, that's nothing in the north, really. So the follow-up is basically Indonesia, or, well, the Dutch Indies still at this point. Huge-ass fleet over here, by the way. Jesus. 
uh, taking all of, trying to take as much of this and then also forces over here into Australian territory as well. So if we delete these two or well just close them for now. There is Operation Mai which is apparently an attack on Midway as well as uh, towards Alaska. Jesus. Oh wow. Now you can see actually the wrong the other side of the map. The advanced force, specific fleet, projected movement. Hmm. I'm trying to attack stuff and take it from the... What is that? Dutch Harbor. Ah, oh, even trying to attack Alaska. Okay, so that's an attack towards the Americans as well. If we then close it for a second and... What is left? The Philippines, which would be up right about now. Uh, it's the reinvasion. Well, it's the counterattack from the Americans. You can see the. Uh, well, eventually got thrown away by this fleet, kind of. So, yeah, countering that. And we finally have one more, which is uh, Ichigo. Which is uh, taking the rest of China, basically. Mm, the April of 1944 is when that started. Or, hang on. Ah, by February 1945, they were about here, yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically, China wasn't taken completely at first, so they had a chance to regroup and everything. And that didn't turn out quite well. We'll see how far we get there. Um, yeah, after that introductory to the war plans, all my units are on the move, or, well, most that I actually want to have on the move. Which is uh, going to cost me a little bit of fuel because I'm moving my ships as well. Um, I think I have all my ships moving where I want them, actually. Oh, no, that's aircraft. Um, it's Kaigun. Yeah, every all the navies are moving. I'm moving all my submarines to Susaki and the rest of my fleet to Tokyo. And there I'm going to repurpose the fleets. Probably going to do that in between episodes as well. I just want to get them moving, but... Oh, we have unpaused, and let's see if they accept our deals. Please, come on, accept our deals. Both accepted our deals. We're making some money. Actually, speed up time a bit more. And we need to pause on the second day because of the production. Ah, our first uh, submarines have arrived. In Susaki, I think it said. Mm -hmm. Kaigun is in Tokyo. Good. Tokyo. Yeah, I still have the pause on, which is what I really like to play this game with. This won't be a fast let's play. It's just slow, methodical, but for the most part, methodical at least. Um, but yeah, it's going to be decent. Where are you? Oh yeah, you are going to Tokyo as well. I'm going to try and redivide some forces as well. I'm going to have some transport fleets and everything. And the event... Resource stockpile almost empty. Stockpiles of supplies will be empty. Oh, because we are on day two. A trade offer from the USA. We would give them four money each day in exchange for 31 rare materials. And we kind of need that, so I'm going to accept that. Oil can come in later. First, I want to secure metal as well as uh, rare materials, basically. So, metal. Who has metal? And I can trade with. Bolivia is 31. That's not that much. But it should be fine to do that. The more we trade with the USA, though, the cheaper it gets. But at one point, they will stop giving us trades. Oh, right. Bolivia is landlocked. Jesus. Um, I will start buying it from Chile. Offer trade agreement to sell us. They won't give us that much. Oh, no, no, we sell, they sell us metal. An amount that they're willing to give, which is 25.7. Uh, what else do we have then? So, how much money did that? Four point something. Yeah, I can do another one. Which, uh, why not Canada? Well, 16 only. So, we'll try and do Belgium. Over trade agreement, about the same amount of metal from them. There we go. Very likely. And there we go. Uh, trade agreement. We will supply them with money. They will supply us with metal. So now at least our factories can run full steam. Okay. 
That's what I was worried about. Consumer goods need to go up a bit more. There we go. You can be stopped now. Supplies, we are producing 236 supplies a day. We are using 56 and trading away 40, which is fine. Yeah, so it's not that much that is actually used. It's just there's a lot that needs to be stockpiled and moved throughout the entire network for us. But it means I can at least drop supplies down to, say, 20 IC, which offsets the increased need for consumer goods quite heavily. And let's just put it on 20 for now. There we go. And does anyone else need supplies from us? Well, we are definitely in a deficit, which is a little bit odd. France might like it. Offer trade agreement. Uh, they will not buy us any supplies. That's a shame. Republic in Spain has some money left over. To buy supplies, they won't even do that. That's a shame. Will Italy do it? Buy supplies. I think it is somehow coded that the USA and... Um, Germany doesn't want to do that. Do want to increase our happiness. They have surplus energy, but so do we. But we don't have that much. Uh, basically, energy stands for coal. It's not literally energy, but it's coal. It's iron. Um, it's more expensive stuff than iron and oil. Well, not just iron, but copper as well. Stuff like that. But you get the gist of it, I guess. Um, Sweden. Portugal. Nope. Okay, who is making the most money now? We are making the most money at this point. The USA, we cannot offer a trade agreement just yet. Can we do it to the UK? No. I think we're, we would have to wait for the US of A to do that. Okay, Sasaki, that means we have... Apparently we have eight... Well, that's not bad, actually. I've also unassigned all leaders, but we don't really need the leaders right now. We're going to get all the aircraft together as well and split them up into the groups for interceptors we'll have two groups of two interceptors one will stay where it is now the other one will go to formosa there we go so you guys are gonna come down here and there we go and you're gonna get a leader with a very high skill but not a fleet destroyer, of course. Um, this one should have, like, superior air tactician, preferably. Wow. Okay, we'll get Kusaka. You're stuck to the Imperial General Headquarters. Um, before we get doing anything... Ooh, wow. Defensive, offensive, trickster, and an engineer. He's bloody amazing. Um, yeah, I don't want him as our main leader. I want him to be in one of the armies. Or closer to the front at the very least what we want up here is of course a high skilled general that has supplies and I think Dohihara fits that bill perfectly now we have the North Japan army which is just these guys we have the Central Japan army and apparently West seriously how many Japan armies do we even have way too many Wow um question if we add you to the West Japan army it's still in range so but yeah there's no oh we actually are yeah of course um, thing is we do lack a lot of connections so actually I'm gonna disband you the East Japan army which is totally in the west of Japan but whatever um, Central Japan army I'm just gonna move you to the uh, West Japan army for now and disband this one to uh, cheapen supplies and everything so it now has a couple of these guys and uh, these guys are probably the 16th Hendon which is probably the name for one of our invasion armies I'm not gonna bother a lot with the naming conventions this time around because it's a little bit silly to do that again uh, you're also going to the central or the West Japan army for now uh, West Japan army will be 
Over here, I'll actually just make a new one for the garrisons. Yeah, that's a good one. So this will be our garrison. Uh, that's basically um, home defense army. I'm just going to call it that. Or should actually make the army group called that. Um, home defense army group. There we go. You will get a defensive, not too well leader, but also definitely with um, supplies attached to it. You have a combined supplies and you have this guy. Sure, I'll give you this guy because we're just going to add in the garrisons. Okay, you're going to be disbanded. So we don't need you. I'm uh, going to attach you to the Home Defense Army Group. You as well, Home Defense Army Group. And in the meantime, let's add some leaders, some crappy ones that give us uh, supply and such. That would be an ideal situation in this case. And we're mostly going to pick up the old guards for our garrisons anyway. Um, there's a garrison here. Attach it to the Home Defense Army group. Yeah, this this is what takes a long time in my games of um, this. So I'm just going to do Japan for now. And uh, okay, do the rest of this in between episodes. Because I can understand that this can be a little bit daunting. Okay, so this is the Home Defense, which should have all the garrisons on J the main isles of Japan. We're attached to this one. Um, 14th Hamden. This is going to be the Taipei, Taipei Army. And we're going to attach the Naha Garrison to it as well. Because it's a little bit closer. And give you some supply bonus as well. Nishio. That's fine. So the supply bonus will allow us to get more supply basically. Right now it says 56.91 use. Turkey is lining itself to the common turn. I don't care about Turkey. Siam, give them money for fuel. I don't want to buy fuel, though. Also, before I completely forget, uh, more efficient laws. Mixed industry, career draft, and specialist training. Specialist training is good. Starting experience goes up, but the time to recruit goes up as well. So I'm just going to leave basic training on for this particular game. But we are going to go to a mixed... Um, industry i think yeah this is change this is a big change daily descent change minus 20 percent well we'll just check it out anyway right the hour before we change days again and yeah there's the problem we need a ton of consumer goods to actually pull this one off this way i mean that's a ton but it does give us faster production. I mean, this ship is now done in February instead of in March. It's a month faster than it used to be. But it is all a little bit more expensive because of the consumer goods. At least this is uh, during peacetime, which is more expensive. Once we go into wartime, it actually gets better. Also, I should actually increase that a little bit more for now. So we can decrease our descent instantly in one single day. Let's hope nothing really weird happens in the meantime, in the background. Probably shouldn't. Or we have now nine spies. I just want to get a few more ready so we can pull, push them in stuff. Well, into certain nations that we want to have a lot of spies on. USA definitely is one we want to spy on. Um, actually, this is going too slow. I'm going to four speed. Here we have it. Inefficient research. Unit and poor supply. Yeah, that's... That's why we need convoys. That's why we need them convoys. Uh -huh. oh, not that many used for these. Oh, Bruges. Huh, all the way from Bruges we're getting this stuff. Pretty good. Okay, descent is back down to zero. So, I'll put it back at point zero six. So, yeah, building faster, but... A lot less at the simultaneously. 
Hmm. Turn or this produced. It's just into the network. Is a little. There's going a lot is going into the network right now. Okay, that's our H. Oh yeah, we want the HQ to move, of course. I mean, if Hendon is safely arrived in Luan He. No, I, that's basically on the front here, I think. Luan He is. I have no clue. These names. I mean, in Europe, I kind of can tell where everything is, but here, that's a different story. Okay, you shouldn't stick around here. Yangji, that's fine. I'm gonna send you to the front as well. Strategically remove you. Uh, one more day of spies and then we're gonna move over to actually researching stuff. Good, so research on 20.01. Now, fine, then back down to this. And we're actually gonna put one point into diplomacy to actually get some diplomacy points because we still need to trade a bit. And the rest can just stick to espionage. Now, people new to um, how I play Hearts of Iron and haven't seen me play as Germany, I like to organize. I have a tendency to be a little bit, um, how would you call it? Oh, crap. That's taking way too long. I'm not going to research it now. I Oh, supply production. That's actually a pretty good one. How long does it take? June. Okay, that's actually going to be a big boost for us. I like to order all my techs and date that they will be done. So it takes a little bit more right now, but eventually I'll be moving. Oh, that's the wrong one. No, that's oh, God. So I'll be moving around my techs a little bit to put them in the right order. I can get a little bit um, um, obsessive compulsive OCD. Yeah. On stuff like this but it's minor so I think I feel it's minor it might not be but so yeah there's that um, that's an order of when it's going to be done researching and we're gonna be doing focused researching so no medium tank stuff or anything our national unity is increasing that is good because I want that to be high pretty damn high poor units and poor supply Chong Jin Army of Hoshidan arrives in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. If I do this, I need to reattach them all together. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a lot, isn't it? Definitely 16th Hendan. Um, fine. I'll attach them into one singular group create a higher command first core i'll just leave it on first core. okay what happened we need a little bit more apparently that's the problem here it will always be a little bit going back and forth at times yeah once that destroyer is done the next destroyer will be finished faster as well you can build a half year one single destroyer that's pretty good April, March is when our first infantry get built. Or once our artillery is done, that's just adding to our current brigades. And that's going to be used in the um, first war. Hang on, didn't I just make a first core? Here it is. Um, yeah, we are. Production license. Uh, permission and technical expertise in producing one unit of close air support. Sure, I will lend you that power. This guy needs to have a strong leader for sure. And you will be attached to the 16th Hendon. Which will also... Uh, this army will actually get my best general, Yamashita. He'll be attached to this. By the way, um, supply used. It went down from 56 to 53. So it's actually useful to have something connected this way. Yeah, the garrisons in the Pacific all are connected straight to the... Uh, command here but that's not something that's oh this is asian command okay we definitely need something with a supply here for now is that the only guy with supply we have left no there's yuhi as well there's only no there's none with just supply left i mean 
with something besides supply. Jesus. So for now, we are going to attach the two guy with two and supply. Homa, sure thing. Upgrade him. There you go. That should... Um, Shwanwa. Ah, nice. We're, we're fortifying our border now. Um, Switzerland is aligning to the Axis. That might be for them to try and get back into completely neutral territory. Still 53.43. Still no change, really. Interesting. She yeah, adds either faster production or um, more production simultaneous. And in the end, the, the things below the ships aren't as important for us. As long as we get our artillery done and everything. The biggest problem is sending it all over to, um, to China. Because we can only build stuff in uh, homeland Japan. And then we have to ship it all across Asia. That's going to be a fun challenge. Hohai Shidan has arrived. Excellent. Just get all get here. Um, West Japan Army. I am going to disband you. Are these other guys are coming down? Well, one of them is. Where's the other? You're attached to home defense. You're attached to home defense. There's another unit attached here. This guy. No, nope, straight up to that. Then I'm just... Oh, maybe... Oh, probably one who was already there, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this guy was already there. Fine. Okay, Um, let's see. Crude oil, we need... We're fine for now on metals and rare materials. Uh, changes by 103 every day. That's fuel. We are actually making fuel, which is good. But we're going to need some more stuff. So, I think by now we can send more supplies to the USA. Offer to sell supplies for a shit ton of money. 19.4 is the maximum we can give them. Soviet Union is actually producing it now. Oh well. Actually, China does have a surplus of metal and rare materials, not really, but deficit of crude oil. They're going to have to buy oil as well. And there we go, a little bit of money. And let's go to Germany, because Germany does love to sell itself some uh, power. Where the bloody hell is Germany? Oh, all the way down here. Offer trade agreement, you can sell us 50 energy per day so if let's stockpile on that if accepted north china army has arrived i think that's no one of these armies i moved this one maybe that's the oh no this one now we move that one back a bit yeah that's true um when is it coming in that's the question that's when we're gonna pause Production license from Bulgaria. Oh, sure, I'll take your money. This actually means the production license will allow us to buy some oil just straight up for a little bit then. Yay, we have surplus coming in here, here, and here. Okay, just this is a slight problem. And now we're actually positive on the um, supplies as well. So, we are off to a good start. Um, changing up the navies I will do outside of the gate, well, outside of the let's play, because there are 89 ships we have to divide across a number of fleets. We have, um, a ton of transports, I think it's like 20-ish, no, yeah, 20 transports or something, or 19. We have destroyers, are the screens. If you look here, we can probably see it. Still not see it that well. Hmm. So we have three carriers. Ah, here we can see it. Um, four battle cruisers, six battleships, three carriers, 20 destroyers, one escort carrier, 14 heavy cruisers, 21 light cruisers, and 20 transport ships. So there's going to be some changes in the Navy. I will show you when we get back. But until then, I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this if you enjoy it. 
and subscribe to the channel if you want to see how Japan fares in World War II this time around. Until next time, I will see you guys later.